restock my burrs with me for live engraving events. So one of the most commonly asked questions that I get on my Instagram is which burrs to actually order from Amazon and how do you make sure it's actually the right ones for your event and for your machine. So I did order a couple just to restock and actually the last time I ordered was for last year's holiday season. And honestly, I still haven't really run out of them, but I have run out of like the smaller ones. So I wanted to kind of walk you through my process on how to order these and double check that they are the correct ones for your machine and handle. So if you haven't done so already, obviously hit that subscribe button along with the bell so you don't miss any more of these fun and grieving educational videos just like this one. So before we even hop into how to order the burrs and make sure you have the right ones for your machine, we actually first have to talk about the anatomy of a burr. So I'm actually going to use one of the most largest ones that I have on hand just for the ease of the video. And we're gonna talk about the anatomy of what a burr actually looks like. So this is the largest burr that I've ever had and I have never actually used this for an event. The ones that I commonly use are actually the size. So you can kind of compare, but just for the ease of the video, I wanted to use this larger one so that you can see visually what I'm actually looking for. So let's first talk about what a burr actually is. So a burr is a tool that we use to grind different edges with a rotary tool. So you'll find it commonly used for products like glass, jewelry, ceramic, stones, and so much more. For this particular case, we are using it for calligraphy engraving, which is pretty fun. The burr that we use actually does insert into a rotary tool, kind of like the Dremel, if you've ever seen any kind of grinding tool that they commonly sell at like Home Depot or Lowe's. But for calligraphy engraving, we use the Mestiza 2 or the Yoke Fellow. And I have detached these just so that you can compare. I like both of them. They're equally amazing. And I use them for different cases. Like sometimes the black one is really nice for the aesthetic of the event. Sometimes the silver one is a little bit more. It depends on kind of what I'm feeling that day. They're both equally amazing. But if you wanna see a full comparison of all the different engraving tools that we use, I do have another video that I will link in the description for you to watch. It's about an hour, so it's really in depth and we compare a lot. So I'll definitely link that down below and for demonstration purposes for this video, we'll use these two only. I really like using these mainly because it fits in your hand just like a pen does and it's just much more natural to kind of hold. The Dremel is a lot wider, like the handle is a lot wider and then the burr is different too. So oftentimes when you're looking to order it on Amazon, that's kind of the default. So we want to make sure that we order the correct one. So let's talk about the anatomy of a burr. So again, this is what a burr actually looks like. So it's broken down into two main parts and that is the shaft which is here and it actually goes into the handle here and what's nice about both of these handles is that it fits the same sized shaft burr so that's kind of what you're looking for is to make sure that both machines or any machines that you have with your backup actually fits the same burr so you don't have to think and go back and forth between two or and potentially bring the wrong ones because i know that's happened in the past for my some of my students so just make sure that you have the same shaft burr for every single one. And then the second part is the head portion. So this is the head and it comes in different sizes. So this one is a ball or a sphere, as you can see there. I have this set of burrs that it comes with and it came with like another engraving tool that I don't really use, but it's a really good way to kind of show you the different shapes that it might come in. So it does come in like the ball shape, which you've seen. Then this one is like the long cylindrical one and it has like kind of a flat top there and then it comes in a cone like this so you can get different shapes and sizes depending on you know which angle you're engraving it if it's like the top or like on the side you can get like a wider kind of stroke and then it comes in like this one too which is kind of tapered at the bottom but wider up top but it's also flat so I don't normally use any of these other than the ball shape just because I don't really need a lot of these other shapes. However, if you love doing italics calligraphy, then this flat shaped cylinder would be a really good one and you would just engrave in that kind of fashion instead of like on the side, like a normal thing, you would actually engrave it straight up and down if you like wanna do more italics style. One more thing to note when it comes to the burrs, 
is the length of the shaft as well. So this total length that I used is 45 millimeters, which fits in really, really well with like both handles. So see how it's jutting out just a little bit. And it does help to have a longer tipped burr just because it allows more movement when you're engraving versus if you had a really short one, then you would have to move like your arm more or like your wrist more to like get those same movements, especially if you're trying to flourish with your engraving. So there is another type of burr that you can order and they're the dental burrs, which I do not use and have never used, but there is an adapter very similar to like this Dremel adapter. Like this would go into the adapter and the adapter would go into the Dremel. The dental burrs are actually much smaller than these. I want to say they're about half the size. So they're maybe like 20 millimeters long and then it also needs an adapter to go into here. But the adapter is so tiny that it's really, really easy to lose. One of my students at her first couple live events, she did lose the little adapter on here. So she wasn't able to use the dental burrs and she had to actually have her partner bring these longer shaped burrs. So if you do decide to use the dental burrs that are like way smaller, teeny tiny, and the shaft is much smaller, then you just wanna make sure that you have these just in case because they're the ones that fit default into these engraver handles. So just bring both just in case. And then obviously like we love having backup engravers too. So you just never know what's gonna happen at your event. Like if this collet is this small, Imagine like going into a department store and losing the adapter for the dental burrs and not having any kind of backup solution. So just, again, you never know what's gonna happen with, at these events. So it's good to have backup burrs, backup engravers, backup paper towels, like literally everything that you have, just to have backups of everything because you just never know what's gonna happen. Even one thing that's helpful too is like having multiple sizes and multiple engravers. So you can have like different sizes in each of your engraving handles. So like notice here, the black one has the 1.5 millimeter size burr and then the silver one has the one millimeter burr. So it helps like if you wanna go between two different sizes or if you wanna give your hand a break, and grasp something different or like maybe you're sweaty or whatever or like the handle's getting hot you can at least go back and forth between both so it does help to have both engravers there with you just in case so that's kind of a good intro into the different shapes and sizes i have this on hand but again i have never used it that's why it's still brand new and there's nothing missing here what i actually use are these smaller ones and i have this as a black one, this one is from Ram Products, so you can purchase it from them if you want to. This is the 15 piece round diamond with the shaft size three over 32 inches or 2.35 millimeter. And I'll show you how to order that on Amazon to make sure that you have the right ones and just to make sure that it actually does fit into your handle appropriately. So this is the same large ball burr and it fits into the handle both really well. So that's kind of what you're looking for is to make sure that it actually fits really smoothly. And I do have like another set that has these bigger ball sizes, but again, I don't need it and I don't use it. I would use something more like this for like larger products like marble or like a big cutting board. But if you're just doing like a small fragrance, then you definitely want it, you know, something like this. So see how it's like really small, um, it's monoline. So I would definitely use something more along those sizes, which is like way smaller. So that's kind of my favorite. I have had this for many years, but I have obviously used it and just replaced it. So I usually like leave blinks so that I can see the separation of the different sizes. I use the one millimeter, 1.5 millimeter, and two millimeter burr head the most, and that's the burr head size at the very top here. And then just make sure again that all the shaft sizes are 2.35 millimeter so that it fits into the handle. When I'm restocking for events, I'm always using this because this is what I can actually bring and put onto the table because it's black and it's somewhat aesthetic. Obviously the one millimeter is the one that I use the most. So I do restock this and make sure I have plenty of these on hand. And then these are the 1.5 millimeter. So they're just a teeny tiny bit bigger. And then there's the 2.5 millimeter burrs, which I love using for like these hydro flasks or powder coated bottles. 
because it has just a little bit more resilience and lasts a little bit longer than these smaller ones. So when you're determining which size to use for your project, it really depends on the size of the project. Like if it's a small perfume like this or a lipstick, then you definitely want to use the one millimeter, maybe even 1.5, depending on how big it is. But if it's like a big powder coated bottle, you want to use the two millimeter burr. And then you'll get more comfortable as you're practicing with it. Obviously practice and get to know your supplies before you start using it. And especially before you go to a live event and make sure you're familiar with it before you even go out live. Going back to the anatomy of the burr, the head of the burr can be made out of different materials. So the one that I use is diamond, but there's also carbide tipped burrs as well. The only thing is I haven't been able to find a carbide carbide tipped burr that comes in a 2.35 millimeter shaft. So I use diamond primarily and it's been working out for all of my events and things anyway. So why mess with success if you already know. In addition to that, carbide is usually used for really hard metals like cast iron or different types of steel, which we're not typically engraving steel while we're at live events anyway. Those are going to be more like machine oriented. So the diamond tip burr does work really, really well. So I'll just stick with that. So when you get a burr, you can actually, you know, get really familiar with it, run your finger over it and figure out what a new burr feels like versus a used one. You'll kind of feel like the grittiness of it as you run it across your fingers. And when you start to engrave and things are not as smooth or it's jumping around a little bit more, it's a signal for you to double check your burr and even change it out. So you have something that's a little bit more smooth. So again, get to know your materials. So you'll kind of see like on this one, this is a brand new one. And then you can run your finger over it and it's super gritty, really hard texture. And then sometimes like I'll use, I'll keep my used burrs kind of in the same kit. One signal, I don't know if you can see this one, but this one I have used for powder coated bottles. So it does have a little bit of a pink residue on the tip of it. So you can tell it's used, but you can also run your finger over this compared to like a new one, like your used one is going to be way smoother than your new one, which is going to have more grit to it. So you do want to be able to identify which one's used and which one's new. And I'll usually save like the old burrs that are used and no longer have as much grit for things like aluminum or metal lipsticks, just because when you're engraving metal, when you have too much texture on it, you'll kind of create like a, a main engraving and then there'll be like really small kind of edges on there. So it's not like as smooth or pretty or clean. So I'll usually keep my old burrs in a separate container. Obviously sometimes I put it back in here. So I don't know if you can tell this one does have a little bit of pink residue on it. All right, so these are the three like refill cases that I have. Have. obviously it's not super organized yet because sometimes I pull it out and like get a little bit messy and then I can actually just leave this here because it's already refilled I could probably take out these like used ones and exchange it but they still have enough grit in it that I'll probably be able to use it again for another event so this is the two millimeter head size and then this one is 1.5 and this one is one so I do have like these two are kind of you know, in the same. So I'm probably just gonna take this and just move it over. And then I've already checked it, but it's really good to, you know, just insert and to make sure that it fits in. Cause I've actually ordered the wrong size burr before, taken it to an event and then didn't fit and had to use the same burr over and over and over again. And it wasn't the cleanest version that I could have had. So I definitely recommend checking it before you do any refills. So just make sure that they all fit. And then I can probably put this one here and refill those gaps. So this one is full. This one we can throw away. So that's done, that's done. We can recap this. And then that's done there. Let's do these new burrs. So I ordered the Jinglings and these are all from Amazon and I'll link that down below as well. It's on my Amazon shop. So this one is the one millimeter spherical head ball burr and it should say 2.35 millimeter on here somewhere. So that's one of the mil one millimeters. And then these two are the same. These are the 1.5 millimeter spherical head burr shank. 2.35 millimeters. So that's what you're really looking for. I've actually ordered a case before and half of them fit and half of them didn't. So it's not the most reliable way to order. You definitely want to double check it and then complain to Amazon if 
it's the incorrect ones. I won't do this for all of the cases, but I did want to show you what a new one looks like. It's definitely a lot shinier. And then this has a collet that fits the Dremel. So if you had a Dremel and you wanted to use this, you can definitely do that. And how that works is the shaft goes in here. This thicker part goes into the Dremel and then you can just lock it in, which would also be used for the dental burrs, but we don't, I don't actually use them, so I can't show you. So typically what I'll do when it comes to testing out these burrs is I'll just make sure that it fits in here and locks appropriately before I keep it. So I'll usually take three at a time and then just make sure that it fits in every single one. And it does come in a pack of 30. So you do want to check it each individually because again, I've like brought the wrong ones to a live event before. And it was the biggest panic moment for me because I like literally didn't have any other ones. It was one of my very first events and it was super hard and really scary. So, so far so good. I have had trouble in the past. So again, just checking all of it just gives me peace of mind. So a pack of 30 of these will last you a really, really long time. Like I said, I ordered maybe three packs last year and it lasted me the entire holiday season and the rest of the year. So you are going to be all set. Each pack costs about, I wanna say 12 to $15. And then you just wanna make sure again, it's like from the right supplier and that it all fits. And if it fits into one of these, it will also fit into the other because again, the shaft size is the same. So I think we're all set there. So that is how I test and just make sure that these are the correct sized shaft burrs. So one thing to note, again, these are like, these are my top three cases that I keep in my bag. So this one's the two millimeter, and then this one is the 1.5 and the one. So notice that there's way more one millimeters than there are the 1.5s. So you can also bring this one, which is all 1.5, and just make sure you have all three of them. If I had to choose, I would probably choose the one millimeter and the 1.5 millimeter as the most common ones. And then the two millimeters, I have like five of them in here. So I feel like sometimes I don't need to bring this one if I'm trying to save space. So those are like the top three. So I'll put this on the side and then I'll show you how to order. All right, so welcome to my Amazon storefront. And this literally has everything that you need to succeed when you're going to a hand engraving event here. So it's got everything from the machine, the burrs, burr lube, organizer, lights, kits, hand massager, which highly recommend here, especially if you're doing a high volume event just for recovery. We've got markers, sketching, beads, scissors, rub and buff, literally everything you need from engraving, it is listed on here. So obviously the thing we're talking about today is the Jingling Diamond Ball Burrs. And I wanted to show you exactly what we wanna use and look for and why. So these are the main ones and I have ordered this back in January, 2020, primarily because there was another link that I was ordering from, which no longer has the correct ones. And here's what I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So you do wanna make sure that you have a couple of main things, which are that they're diamond burrs. This round part doesn't really matter because that pertains to the head diameter. And then you wanna make sure that it has the 2.35 or three over 32 inches. So I'll show you with these one millimeter burrs, you wanna look at the description. Even if it says like 2.35 in the description, you still wanna make sure that you have the correct shaft size. Remember shaft and shank are the same. And the main thing you're looking for is that the shank diameter is three over 32 inches or three 2.35 millimeter. And that's what fits into most of the like nail engravers or uh, calligraphy engravers that we use like the yoke fellow and the mestizo too and then again the head diameter that i primarily use is the one millimeter 1.5 millimeter and two millimeter burrs and with everything that you order you want to make sure and double check in the description that it has shank diameter 2.35 millimeter on all of these because it can be really tricky sometimes like it has a three millimeter one or one eighth inch and we don't want that. So again, just make sure that the shank diameter is the correct one. And I'll show you what it looks like on the one that you don't want. So let's play with this one. So this one we actually don't want to use. So this is the other kit that has all the different sizes. So if you want to use this, you can order if you want to. Again, just make sure that your shank diameter is 2.35 millimeter or three over 32 inches. 
versus this one has the bigger one, which is the three millimeter or one eighth of an inch. So you just want to make sure you read the description here and make sure it's the correct one. Let's see. So I think there's another one. So this one is another one that's potential, right? So it's the same brand. It has diamond two millimeter ball burr, which is like the tip again. And then the shank is one eighth of an inch. So you want to, again, just make sure that you're looking at the description and make sure that it has the right shank diameter. This is again, what we're looking for. Um, grit doesn't really matter. Uh, at this point, but just make sure that it has the right shank diameter and you can order whatever head diameter you want. So I hope this video was super helpful for you and demystified the whole ordering process and made things just a little bit easier for you. If it was helpful, please let me know. Drop into the comments if you have any other questions that you have about calligraphy engraving. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!